Welcome to the Pit Chatter Podcast. No, welcome back. <laughs> did, did I catch you off guard there, Noah? You didn't say welcome back. Uh, no, I didn't welcome. say, all right, we're back. We're here. Whatever. We're live. <laughs> Listen, intentionally, so I'd throw you off there. I got you a little bit surprised over there. Well, you know, listen, this was episode 19, so I figured it was time. Uh, This is the Pit Chatter Podcast. I'm your host, Langley Austin, promoter here at Franklin County Speedway. Um, Got Noah Hinchy here beside of me. He is the... uh, What's a, what's a title? What what, a, what kind of title do we have for you for race nights? I mean, I came up with a title, but I can't remember. It's been weeks ago when we were back at the old El Rio. El Rio, me me caught the lead entertainer. Wasn't that what I came up with? Yeah, lead entertainer. Uh, we're gonna Mr. go Mr. Microphone something. We're gonna go with top BSer. That's what we're going with today. So, um, Noah Hinchy's our. Um, I guess pit side uh, announcer, um, and tonight we've got uh, the guy who was our tower announcer from this past weekend, and uh, has uh, done it with us uh, in the past. Here we got Jacob Gerald here. Jacob, welcome, welcome to the show with us. Thank you for having me. I'm just glad to be with both of y'all. Well. We'll see how you feel about that in about an hour, but uh, for now, you know, yeah, for now you're happy to be here. Exactly. Um, Makes one of us. <laughs> Noah, he's been miserable for the last two hours, so I'm you tired, know. Man. I ain't surprised. It's been. Yeah. A, it, hey, we made it through Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, he lives to be miserable though, so it's okay. You know, he if he wasn't miserable, he wouldn't be happy. Yeah. Makes the best artist. I mean, I guess, I guess. Uh, I was miserable Saturday, but that's a whole nother. Uh, that's a whole nother story for another day. Um, Saturday night we uh, had the uh, pawn shop Second Amendment night. Uh, the pawn shop, we really appreciate their support. They came out, uh, gave out some free uh, free T shirts to uh, to the fans. They came in. Uh, if you got here, if you got here earlier than they did, obviously you didn't get one. But uh, first, uh, first two hundred fans that uh, bought tickets after they got here at uh, right before five o'clock uh, got uh, got a free uh, Second Amendment night uh, pawn shop T-shirt. Uh, they had some out here for sale. Uh, did a drawing for an AR-15. Um, I assume you can say that on podcast. I know Facebook don't allow you to do all that, um, <clears throat> but uh, they had a drawing, and of course. Uh, wouldn't you know it that uh, Dwayne Shepard, the security guard, he, he wins the thing. I'm mad about that. Yeah, I was pretty I'm, mad about that myself, okay? I'm a pretty lucky person. I yeah. thought I had it. Now I just owe Daryl 20 bucks. Well, Daryl's probably not getting his 20 bucks. No, I'll pay him. I mean, Daryl Daryl's getting screwed. I can just see it now. It ain't the first $20 he's ever lost to you, so, you know, it'll be all right. I pay my debts most yeah. of the time. Yeah, well... We'll see. Daryl will have to let us know whether that one's the case or not. Um, he don't know how to work his phone enough to listen to this thing. Well, that is true. That it, he'll he'll have to ride around with Timmy to listen to it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, uh, what 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 you guys? I'll, I'll start with you. Know what? What do you think about uh, Saturday night's uh, race in action? Obviously, uh, had a kind of an off night car count wise uh you know we didn't have uh, we didn't have but three divisions had the mini stocks the legends and uh the stock fours uh the legends and and the mini stocks off a little bit both uh, both had five uh, five entries stock four still the same you know same thing they always are they they were uh they were ready to go and and they put on a show but what what would you think of the night overall I mean, uh, even though the car count was a little bit down i think overall i think it was a good night I mean, stock four, both races, putting on a show just like they have been all year long. Yep. Many stocks. You had some, uh, a little bit of excitement. I mean, you had Mr. Givens picking up his first mini stock win. I mean, that was pretty exciting, I guess, getting to see him go out there and play around with the, with the bigger divisions. Yeah. He, uh, he, he got him, he got himself a victory there. Um, would have had two. But uh, he uh, failed uh, post-race inspection uh, for the second mini stock race of the night, uh, handing the win to uh, Dennis Holdren. So I guess that's uh, four on the year for Dennis Holdren. So good, uh, good season for him so far, and 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 I guess you know good for Wes uh, getting his first uh, first win. 
I'm so tired of that guy winning here <laughs> from the last three years that I, I don't know if any, I don't know if I feel like anything's good for him. Hey, hopefully he'll stay up in the mini stocks and quit yes. beating up on the stock four guys. That that would be great. It's the mini stocks turn. We've had it for three years. It's their turn to take a beat. Yeah, except that is definitely not what happened this week. So he uh, still pulled out a victory in in one of the stock four races. Uh, Jacob, uh, you know, you were here with us for the full night, um, you know, in, in the tower. What uh, what do you think of the racing action out there? You know, when uh, <laughs> Josh Henchy lost a wheel, that's the first time I ever saw a right or a left front wheel come off of a, a mini, of, a, of a stock four. Yeah, he he uh, he hit pretty hard over there. Yeah. Him and Josh Brown uh, collected up yeah. um, in that. Uh, you know, of course... Josh, uh, you know, he thinks his car's totaled. I know the thing's got a lot of rust in it, but I don't think it's totaled. No. Uh, once they looked at it in the daylight, it di- it didn't look as bad as initially thought that night. Yeah. Uh, I know, actually, I passed him on the way up here tonight. He's taking it to the garage, so yeah. I guess they're going to get to work on it, hook her up to a tree, you know, hook her up to the tow truck, try to bend that thing straight and – yeah. Come back down here, practice it, assess, see what, see if it's going to drive good again. At least they got a week off this week. Yeah, True. that helps. True. That That's helps a, plus. a lot. That's a plus. Um, we'll quickly go over, you know, the, the uh, racing from this past weekend. Of course, we mentioned Wes Evans got a win in the stock four. That was in the race number one. Gary Smith qualified on the pole. Man, uh, you know, he bought – after last week's podcast, he came down, he bought uh, he bought Wes's car that Wes had been racing. Um Seemed to work out for him. Got to pole and and got a victory at the end of the night. Yeah, he pulled the old switcheroo. I wasn't sure how he. I heard that in practice he was kind of, kind of all over the place. I didn't see it for myself, but yeah, I, I didn't know how it was going to work out. But man, he he hopped right in that thing like he'd been running it all year and nothing but business. Yeah, he finished second in that first race. Josh Henchy was third. Uh, good race, man. Uh, Josh, Josh Henchy should have won that race. Josh Brown's, you know, funny enough, they got together, you know, later on uh, in the second race. But uh, in the first race, Josh Brown stopped on the track, I guess, for a cut tire. And uh, Josh Henchy had just taken the lead from uh, from Wes Givens, um, you know, give it back there because of the caution. And yep. it was over from there. Yeah, it sucks the way it works, but. From what I understand, I kind of saw it a little bit. The bolt snapped on Wes's strut, and the whole wheel was just sitting there flopping back and forth. Yeah. And from what most of the stock four guys said, they were terrified to even be around them. Because well, who knows when that thing's going to snap <laughs> off. And Listen, most weeks they're terrified to be around him to start with. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, add in that he might lose control of his car at some point. Yep. That yep. seems to be a knack. I remember uh, last year he – had his hood barely hanging on he was looking at it out the window it was hanging on all twisted up and the field immediately dropped back about a whole straightaway he yep he don't care though he just lets it roll he was uh he was back in uh the 48 uh beards and shears um angie campbell entry i guess uh that'll be the uh jordan entry jordan meadows entry this year Yep, we're going to have to get a new paint job on that thing here soon. Yeah, well. It's still rocking Angie's uh, number and stickers and all that. Might want to work on closing the hood properly. That thing was uh, that thing was talking to everybody as it was going around the track. It looked like it was out of the movie Lightning McQueen. I mean, Cars was with Lightning McQueen um, there. It's always done that. The guys that built it, we actually didn't even build that car. Yeah. Well, we being my brother, Josh, right, and right. Daryl. right. The guy that built it, Tony Hamlin, he he takes things very serious. Yeah, and he uh he put the plasma cutter to that thing, and I I swear that hood maybe weighs three quarters of a pound. Yeah. So yeah, that thing, yeah, it does. It talks to you on the way by. It's just flapping in the wind. Yeah. Well, that was probably good for last year's rules. Probably not as good for this year's rules with the weight rule, but yeah, probably you know, not. Whatever. Um, second stock four race of the night. Of course, I mentioned uh, Gary Smith uh, in in the car that he bought from from West there, taking home the victory. Um, man, he had to he had to earn that one uh, and take it away from West. That 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 last one was nuts. They were crossing each other up and swapping. Yeah. I swear there was like five different lead changes in the last two laps. 
I mean, it was crazy, and somehow Gary pulled it out, which is a rare thing to do against Wes. Yeah. It's well, to beat him heads up. Listen, two races in a row there, two weeks in a row, I should say, there. He's been he's been beat, you know, heads up in a race like that. Um, I told him afterwards, I said, man, this division's moving on without you, bud. Yeah, they're figuring it out now. Yeah. They're learning them. Yep, they are for sure. The future is now, old man. Move over. <laughs> West course finished third in that race. Keyshawn Clater getting a second place finish. Um, West continuing to dominate the points there in, in stock four. Yeah, we don't have to talk we about that. We can just skip right over that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about those races, you know, as we go along here. But uh, Manita Tractor and Trailer Legends cars, Ethan Troll dominating both races. Both races had the exact same finish. James Folds finished second. He's he's slowly moving up. He's fourth place guy um, for several races. Yep. Third place guy for a few races. Second place guy. I told him today he was he was here today to help us with a. Uh, uh, photo shoot or video shoot for uh wfxr for the salem fair um and i told him i said now you got to move up to first bud so a little bit of controversy in their second race too you know i had no idea about that until i saw it on facebook um i don't know man he he led probably probably, i think the first six seven laps and you know it was a close battle i could see that you know true was Putting the bumper to him a little bit, trying to move him out the way, and he was honking that horn back there, man. Yeah, he was trying. He was, and just James Fold was not happy about it. Yeah, not at all. And they start. I'm trying to do an interview. They're yelling at each other. Yeah, I had no. I didn't see that part after that race. I, I was busy doing something. I think maybe I was. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> but I was busy doing something else. Didn't see that. I saw it on Facebook, and I'm like, what? What happened here? I didn't know anybody was mad till I started talking to him, and he was he he got himself mad on the microphone, and then was yelling at Truel's guys. And I'll be honest with you, my personal opinion, I didn't see anything to be mad about. I mean, and that's how those guys race. That's how you race up front in that division. Um, you know, I know they haven't raced each other a lot this year. Um, you know, for position, except for a race or two. Uh, James is really, you know, getting faster every week. Ethan's had that speed. You know, of course, you know, Chris Lilly not being here this week. You know, he picked up both victories. And, I mean, he might have picked him up with Chris here. I mean, you know, he beat him the last race. And, you know, I don't know. I got yelled at for mentioning that Chris Lilly wasn't here. Yeah, well. I won't say by who, but they specifically said, he ain't here, we ain't talking about him. <laughs> and I said, look, it's my job. I got to at least mention it. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Austin Sam's finished third in both of those races. Kyle Klingen Pill um making his first start. I don't know, second start of the year. Um finished uh finished fourth in both races. Justin Landis finished. Man, he took a pretty good oh, shot there uh, after the first <laughs> I forgot race. about that one. Um I I think uh Klingen Pill kinda indicated to me that uh uh, he might have uh, got too tight coming up off the corner. That Klingon pill got too tight coming up off the corner, and the 71 was there, and I guess he had to check up, and when he checked up, it was just riding her to the wall from there. I hope Jumbo got a picture of that, him taking the checkered sideways and hitting the wall after the checkered. That has to be a great picture. Yeah. I'm not sure if he got that or not. But, uh, you, you had a pretty good vantage point of that, uh, Jacob. What did uh, what'd you think of all that? I was – I. I hope that uh, I hope that Jumbo got a great uh, picture of that as well because I saw him coming. Uh, I saw him coming sideways to the finish yeah. line, and kudos to Jumbo. And if in Jumbo's photos, it is amazing. So you want to go check that out? Absolutely. Yep, for sure. Um, <clears throat> other other races, many stocks. You you mentioned earlier that Wes got uh, got his first win in that first race. Josh Phillips had qualified on the pole, but. Uh, West, uh, you know, used – I'm not going to say he used him. He, he didn't do anything. He didn't touch him or anything. They, they raced really hard. He got by him, um, got the victory. Of course, got the victory in the second race ahead of Dennis Holdren. Didn't get to keep that one. Dennis got that victory. Josh Phillips officially finishing second in both. Jesse Opp here running, uh, you know, Dennis Holdren's car. I don't know if they had a problem or something during the first race. I don't know what was going on. Uh, Dennis definitely did not run very good in the uh, red car. He did not. Um, so, we'll see. I think uh, one to watch there is I think there is a, a new rivalry brewing between maybe Wes Givens and 
the 46 of Josh Phillips. I know that there were some things said before the race even started. I'm not going to get into all that because I'm hearing it secondhand, so I can't yeah. say it for myself. But I know it seemed like Josh was not not happy. Wes came up, said something to him. It was a little sarcastic. And But Wes did say when I interviewed him in Victory Lane that he made it a point to not touch Josh Yeah, because everybody says that he wrecks people and he's rough. So he said he made it a point to show them that he's still going to beat them without even touching them. Right, right. So hey, that's one to watch for the future. You, uh, Jacob, you were listening in on Dennis, Dennis Holdren's uh, communication there. They, they definitely didn't have a very good first race, but they bounced back with that second one. I tell you, you put you put Dennis in a uh, in that ninety nine Hannah Best and Row car, and he will get up to the front. You do not mess yep. mess around with Dennis Holder. He you put him in the great car, he will get it to the front. Uh, no doubt about that. Dennis is a uh, world class racer for sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, any other uh, any other takeaways from the other night? I mean, there's some several other things in the stock four race we can talk about, uh, but any other takeaways you you got right off the bat here? I'm trying to think. It all starts to kind of blur together after a while. Yeah, those are your Bud Lights. I, I ain't even drinking no Bud Lights oh, today. Oh, sorry. 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 You're going to get me in trouble. Well, I'll give you a second to think. Jacob, you, you got any other takeaways from the other night that you can uh, think of? I'll tell you that three wide finished in, in the second uh, stock four race. That was and that was incredible. Yeah, that was a, that was great. That, that, th- that three car battle there was uh, really, really good for sure. Absolutely. Um, the speaking of the second stock four race, uh, Michael Altus uh, got up on the wheel there, got up beside of uh, Wes, had a uh, you know, <laughs> if that would have been for the win, that would have been a photo finish. Oh yeah, uh, really close uh, transponders, uh, you know, showing Michael Altus ahead. He got tossed in tech uh, for uh, misplaced. <laughs> Officially, the the title is misplaced weight. Um, he uh, he had a con- bag of concrete in there for. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord, hey, uh, whatever it takes. Well, whatever. I mean, he didn't make weight, I guess. But uh, <laughs> this is the first time I heard of it. I don't know how to hear about that. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. A yeah. bag of concrete. Oh man! Look, these stock yeah. fours are a long way from the big money of the smart mods oh, in the yeah, cars sure. tour. All sure. right. We're using bags of concrete. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man. <laughs> Fun time. Did he at least unwrap it, and throw some water on it, or was it just sitting there in the bag, the bag of Quick Creek? I didn't get to see it. I don't really know the answer to that question. For, for Either the love way. of Jesus, somebody needs to talk to Quick Creek and get that man a sponsorship. I'm telling you, man. He should. That would be perfect. <laughs> he should for sure. <laughs> Uh, but he had a great run there, man. If I feel like uh, they get that uh, they get that Ecotech dialed in, man, they're going to be really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to him a little bit, and I didn't I didn't realize till about two weeks ago that that thing is an automatic, and you got to. I didn't realize it until before we started the show here. Yeah, yeah. You got to like we you, uh, with the conversation we had with Jaden uh, a few weeks ago. You got to do things differently, and you got to uh, different size tires and. Yeah. He'll figure it out though, and I'm sure he'll be right up there running up front with them boys here soon. Yeah, I mean, if he gets him some taller tires on there, and uh, you know, just and I'm sure you know, moving from that Avenger, you know, that that's kind of like when you move from the Escort to the Ecotech. I think he's he's having he's in a world of difference right now. Oh yeah, I'm sure he noticed it the first time he uh, yeah. tried to throw that thing down into the corner. For sure, because I definitely did, and I about went in the grass because those. Those Cavaliers and Sunfires, man, they turn like a dream. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Jaden Austin won both races last week. Didn't make but a couple laps in either race this and time. And he about took out the entire field. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that a little Lord. bit. Um, but uh, he had the transmission line come off with him and Josh Brown made contact. Josh Brown ruined a lot of guys' nights the other night. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> Jaden almost ruined everybody's night yeah. at the same exact time. Transmission fluid got down on the track, and, and I guess wherever the officials checked, it wasn't really that bad. And hammer down they went, and boy, were they sideways. All I know is I looked into three in every single car. <laughs> was head on looking at me in the pits oh, and i was, was like great. oh no i mean they were all twisted up and i mean that's 
you know, and, it, and then you know it's bad when, you know, Wes, you know, we had wet track conditions before in, in any car and stuff. And, I mean, he's out there just. Oh, that's good his as favorite. Can be. Well, transmission was oh, transmission fluid was not his favorite. That's a little bit too slick, even for Wes. <laughs> that was good stuff. It, uh, it made for a very interesting race. Um, it was exciting. I the mean, officials I, came down. They asked. They said, what's it looking like over here? How much do we need to work on it before mini stocks? They were like, it's terrible over here. <laughs> It was crazy. I again. I hope Jumbo got a picture of that. Every car in the field, sideways, right next to it. that. That was insane. Kind of yeah. like dirt cars. It, that's what it looked Listen, like. It looked, it looked like, like it for sure. It looked yeah. like a bunch of late models throwing them things in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we need to add transmission fluid for every stock floor. Oh lord. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the night of destruction transmission fluid. Yeah, there we you go. We found our solution. Uh, yeah, who's yes. paying for all that transmission well, fluid? I will. Okay, <laughs> if it makes racing like that, I will. Hey, we'll okay. call the Meeks, tell them to bring all their scrap cars, just pull the plugs there we on go. them, there and we we'll go. just dump them out. There we go. That, that's a good idea. And then we'll also need volunteers for the next six weeks to clean the transmission fluid back up off the track. Man. We're going to need about 45 pressure washers no, down here. We don't even need that. We're going to call our sponsor, Teddy's Water Hauling, and they're going to bring it in here, and they'll spray off the track. A couple loads of water, we good to go. Yeah, a couple, like, couple hundred couple, loads. A couple loads of water. Yeah, that's all. Look, I don't think the Stock 4 guys would mind. The, uh, the, the big car, big money car guys, I don't think they would be as happy about how, it. How do you think the Legends race would be with some transmission? Oh, they're poor guys. <laughs> it would look like Mario Kart hitting a <laughs> banana. <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> it would be terrible, man. It would be terrible. They'd probably sure. spin out before they even took a green. They'd be under caution. Probably. Green flag and right under caution. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gary Smith told me that I had to talk good about him this week. And, I, and I'm confused. Have we ever talked bad about Gary on here? Other than calling him uh, Mr. Burnoff after that Mr. first race. Mr. Bur- that was you. I didn't do that. After that he you. allegedly burned off 50 pounds of fuel in the first race. He told me I had to talk good about him, and, and I'm not sure how to do that since I always talk good about him. So I'm confused. But, uh, man, he had a great night. Um, if he keeps that up, man, he's going to be a contender for the championship. No, oh, he is. He, I mean, He's coming along very quickly. <laughs> And, I, and I'm, I'm going to say this when he when last week you know they they had to their other car was a little bit tore up and you know they come down here and made what I, I thought was a bad deal to to get you know the car that they got from Wes um, you know the details doesn't doesn't matter to that but um, you know I I personally thought that was a stupid decision I mean he made it look good yeah. I mean, he sure did, uh, and and man, he and and like I just said, he put himself in contention. Now he's he's in the playoffs, yep. got a victory. You know, he's he's put himself into a great spot. You know, if they can, if everything goes right and that car stays running like it is, I mean, there's no reason why he can't be one of the three guys on champion on Hexed Haunted Attraction Championship night. Going for the victory and going for the championship. I can't wait for that night. I don't want the season to be over, but that yeah, night is going to be nuts. And I will say, I wish Gary could have seen. You know, I always stand right up here right behind Victory Lane, so I'm ready to do interviews. And yeah. Gary's dad always comes over here yeah, yeah. for Stock 4. Yep. And, you know, Gary, uh, Will has whatever he's got. He's got issues with, I think, his leg or whatever. Yep. He can't. But i tell you what. When Gary put that move on Wes and got the win, I think that man jumped six feet in the air. <laughs> and I was like, dude, calm down before you hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. It was nuts. And he had to put on a great move. He got moved, and he had to put on a great move to get that uh, spot back to get that win. Oh, yeah, he did. You know, just like Jaden the week before, you know, he had to earn it. And Wes made him earn it, which is great. Um, good victory for him. Uh, definitely a championship contender. Not not that he wasn't already. He was he was you know in that realm. He was just right outside of. It. He was on kind of like kind of like your brother, uh, Josh, Josh Henchy is like every week. I go, man, he's he's getting ready to get him a win. Nope, he's getting ready to get him a win this week. Nope, he's right on the cusp of being there. He just ain't got there. The field is just so tight. It a- is any one of these top whatever six or seven guys. Two years ago, they'd be winning almost every single race. Yeah. But this year, you got Josh, who's got 
if not the fastest, the probably top two, top three fastest. Well, before he hit the wall. Yep. Uh, but he can't even get one this year. Yep. You know, the playoffs, the, the top three guys, it's going to be uh, the winning, the winningest guy from the season overall, the winningest person in the playoffs, which could be the same person, and then, uh, you know, most consistent, I guess, you know, points, and that may be two of them. If you had to pick right now, who who's going to be the three guys in the playoffs in the Stock Four division? Obviously, Wes. Uh, is Wes going to continue on? I mean, he's this is a mini he's a mini stock driver now. Well, if we're if we're ending the season today, and yeah, we okay. got to go off. All of right, just what, let's say, let's do that. We're yeah. ending it today. It's going to be Wes. Keyshawn's up there. Keyshawn's been very consistent. Okay. I don't think he's gotten but one finish outside the top three. Okay. So are you going to put Gary, Jaden, Josh Hinchy, Josh Brown? Uh, I mean, I mean, Jaden. I'm probably not thinking of somebody. Jaden has to be in there. Okay, so what you've are we done doing name three, three or four? <laughs> no, we're only doing three. So, so you're kicking your brother out. He's not making it. And neither is Gary, right? Well, Josh isn't doing himself any favors by getting DQ'd 16 times well, a season. Yeah, that's it. That's that crooked eyed tech guy. So, yeah, well, you know, that's what happens. he said. That's what, what he said. What are you going to do? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We might have to expand the playoffs first year. <laughs> I think it, in the stock four, we need to, man. It needs to be five or six, you know, going forward to championship night. You know, I, I do have the power to make that happen. There so. ain't been wrecked cars yet. Well, there's been one, but. I think at that night there might be a car or two that's going to end up wrecked by them. Man, them guys race so clean, you know. Oh, yeah. That's the cleanest race I've ever seen in my life. And I guarantee you with the championship on the line, you know, and they're all bumper to bumper, they're going to play super nice coming to the coming to the checkered. Yeah, sure. They're not going to touch each other. They're going to give sure. each other plenty of room. I mean, don't you agree, Jim? And when it's all going to be clean as can be, but when, – when it's all said and done, they're going to walk <laughs> up and shake each other's hands and say, that was really good, man. Or, good for or you. Or punch each other in the mouth, one or the other. Yeah. <laughs> good game. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, there's going to be eight cars in the wall and six punches thrown, and who knows what's going to happen. I mean, I was a little sarcastic. You never know. That may could have really happened. They could run each other clean and just be like, hey, good job. I mean, they have so far. I mean, I – and and cleaning that division is different than cleaning any other division. <laughs> you know that's that's a whole different uh, it's a whole different aspect. Yeah, cleaning there. stock four is like uh, the worst driver in late models or like Kyle Busch in the Cup Series. Kyle Busch. That's like our that's like our version of a clean driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not putting myself on the spot to pick three. I'm glad that you uh, dove in there. You you want to you want to pick three? You think is going to be in the uh, championship for the stock four? I know, I know, we can't pick all of them, but we can pick only three, right? Three. All right. Well, he picked seventeen of them, but you, know, <laughs> know. you can pick three. I know. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to go with uh, Gary Smith. Yep. Uh, Wes Givens. Yep. Probably Jay Austin. Man, so no Keyshawn. Nah, no Keyshawn. No Keyshawn. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's the thing is Keyshawn's been so consistent. He has, man. And he moved himself back into second in points this week um, over Jaden, obviously, having troubles, which, you know, Keyshawn's, you know, had a little bit of that as they went along. Who knows what will happen. It's, you know, it's the age-old question. Is it better to finish half of the races winning and half of the races in last, or is it better to finish every single race in second place? Which one would you prefer as a racer? Oh, me, I'm winning and losing. <laughs> right. I'm either winning or winning, crashing, crashing the car trying Screw to win. Hey, yeah. first, Ricky Bobby last. style. If you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't okay. first, you last. 100%. But, 100%. but, I mean, if you're trying to win a championship, obviously, you want to finish second every single race. Well, I mean, you went, you won a championship parked over there in turn two. So, I mean, you know, it <laughs> yeah. can happen. Hey, the, the night I won the championship, I won, I think, two laps down, and there were only <laughs> two cars on the track. So, <laughs> Hey, whatever it takes. Jesus, that's terrible. Um, yeah, I, I think the playoffs is going to be very interesting in, in every division. Stock four, obviously, the division that everybody's going to be watching. But, man, I mean, you think about and – and I think you probably got a clear – and I ain't trying to discount anybody. I think you got a clear-cut three in the Legends division. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's, that's Chris Lilly, Ethan Troll – and James Folds. Yeah. And, you know, Chris and, and Ethan, 
man, they love to play games with each other out there on the track. Um, James is not happy with Ethan. It, you know, that division could be very interesting heading into the playoffs and through the playoffs. And Folds is getting a little bit quicker every oh, week. Yeah. He, he he's is. working on it. He is. And he like is. he told us, you know, that when we did that live show from Longhorn, yep, that last year was his first real full season. And so he's still figuring stuff out. I mean, as much as people like to think, yeah, you know, watching that you could just hop in and go fast, yeah. especially in those cars, that's, it does not work like that. That's the hardest division to uh, – know how to set up a car and the hardest division to race it, it takes years of knowledge yep. and experience to make a good driver like that 100 percent. and he's he's getting better every single week i think you know he'll probably be right up there in times and who knows it might be three wide at the end for them too it, it could be man they're going to be tight I, I feel like by the end of the season they're all going to be right there together i mean they're all pretty close right now um the Chris and, and Ethan are a little bit ahead of the 15, but it ain't by much. You know, the only thing I'm confused about is, I don't know how you knew what he said. If you were at Longhorn and we were at Logan's for that show, I don't know how oh, you knew what he said. I was thinking of uh, Gary's new sponsor. <laughs> Shout out to Longhorn. Shout out. <laughs> Sorry uh, to Logan's. There went our sponsor. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, <clears throat> many stocks... Uh, Right now, I don't know who you would put in the playoffs. Or, you know, All who you would, I mean, Dennis it. Holdren, clear favorite. Yeah. Um, Wes, maybe. I don't know if, you know, he's got to get enough starts in. I mean, he's still got time. Um, Josh Phillips, right now. Scott Foley could bounce his way in there if he could actually run a race. You know, flywheel broke on him. He had, you know, had problems with the fuel cell or something uh, on Friday practice. So he's kind of been struggling there. But, I mean, he could be, you know, one of those guys too. I think I'm not going to poo-poo on anybody, but I think there's only one or two people that I think wouldn't be contending at the very end. Yeah. I'm not going to say any names. I'm not like that. All right. So if you you, uh, you don't want to throw yourself. Somebody under cash at me twenty bucks. I'll tell you. But <laughs> yeah, I'll give you twenty dollars right now. Hold on. <laughs> After the show. After the show. I've only got hundred dollar bills. Sorry. But seriously, those. If we can get a full Scott Foley, I feel bad for him. He's had nothing but nothing bad luck this year. Yep. But he's always a fast guy, and he can if for he gets sure. it up there and we, another. Good three cars. You got Wes. You know, actually, four cars. You got Wes, Dennis, Scott Foley, Josh Phillips. Yep. And it could get real interesting and, there, too. I know Wes Golf has struggled this year, but, I mean, you got that second-place finish. He didn't make it to this last race, but he got that second-place finish in the last race. You know, previous to that, he's kind of struggled. He hasn't had the speed that he showed at the end of last year. Um, but, man, I mean, they could take off anytime. Well, I was talking to his crew guys after he got that second-place finish, and they yep. said – I guess it was while I wasn't here, while I was at the beach. They said that they had gotten into a wreck, and the car has just not – Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. They said the car has not been the same, and they're just now starting to get it kind of figured back out again. So, I'm sure, given a couple of weeks, they'll get it back to what it was at the end of last year and yep. be right up there with them. 100%. And, you know, David Duncan didn't make it the other night, and he showed a lot of speed the previous race. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it on the last podcast. Um, you never know, man. I- any of those guys, man. It, 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 you know, the playoffs put such a different aspect on the championship because right now you could go down the points list, and I know this isn't updated, uh, but, you know, like – Wes Givens, is, you know, stock four, he's starting to run away with the points. You know what I mean? Because he's super consistent, wins all the dang time. You know, Dennis Holdren, same thing. He's uh, other than other than the first race the other night, he's been perfect. You yeah. know what I mean? Nobody else has won a race until Wes did. Um, you know, so he's just pulling away in points. Um, same thing and uh, same thing in the legends. You know, Chris Lilly just keeps maximizing points every time he's here. Actually, he probably fought a. I guess he would fall to second this week. I, I did the points, but I don't have them in front of me. Um, <clears throat> you know, but, you know, those guys, you get everybody kind of gets in that uh, thing, you know, where they're pulling away with points. And then, you know, but you throw the playoffs in here, man, everybody's got a chance. Well, and they do. And it's also you mess up one bad time in the playoffs and that's it. You're yeah, done. Could be. And the next sure. guy moves up. So, 
Yep. You never know what can happen when it come playoff time. You don't, for sure. And uh, it's going to be interesting, you know. And, and if, you know, we get these rivalries linger over into the playoffs, you know, the Keyshawn, uh, Glader, and, and Josh Henchy rivalry, um, you know, and, and, and others, if they continue on into the playoffs, man, that, they could – play a pivotal role in who gets to who gets to compete for the championship or win yeah well josh yeah. and Keyshawn were playing pretty nice this past week they're beating them banging a little bit but yeah no hard feelings yeah i think i mean as far as i know who knows they might hate each other still they probably do i don't know i i prefer if they do I mean, I'd like to keep them hating each other. All I know is that that it's first race, business. they all were, again, beating and banging, and nobody was mad. They were just like, hey, good race. Yeah, for so, sure. So, who knows? But, yeah, come championship time, uh, you know, somebody will, somebody will make a move. It don't matter who it is, if it's their mother or Wes <laughs> Givens in the car. Somebody's going to do something. Well, these guys have started to show that they're not afraid of Wes, and that's the one thing that – you know, when the, when the season started, I was like, man, he's going to win the Stock 4 championship just easily because even with the playoffs, I mean, if he don't break, you know, these guys are scared to death of him. I mean, Keyshawn's the only one still scared to death of him. Put a mark on his car and move on and, and you know, show him show him what you got to do. Everybody else is moving on. I mean, Jaden showed he is. Gary is. You know, Josh Henchy ain't never had a problem with it. So we're seeing that division come to life. They're no longer scared of the big bad wolf. And they're moving on. I'm starting to think that Wes is like a Pennywise from it. Yeah. As soon yeah. as they prove that they're not scared of him anymore, he yeah. falls apart. And he... Well, I mean, that's kind of what we're seeing. I mean, <laughs> they just got to show him we're not afraid of you anymore. <laughs> and he's gonna, he's gonna, just... he's gonna move on to many times. Yep. That'd be great. Yeah, I'm gonna go scare some of you. <laughs> I gotta find some other little children to scare. Uh, he's, he's not gonna find children in the, in the mini stock division, though. That's the problem. Yeah, so. well, I wouldn't be surprised if he moves down to Bandoleros or something. <laughs> <laughs> Beat up on some eight year olds. Oh man, that that's funny. <clears throat> I mean, pull, a, pull pull like a Cole Custer, like from the. Cup Series back to the Xfinity Series. Yeah, on an eight-year-old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put some tires on it. The race is over. Put some tires on it. <laughs> See why that little kid looked at me? <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I mean, it's true. I mean, it, for what it's worth, it's true. Um, I guess we uh, got some racing coming up. Still, man, we're kind of getting into the heart of the season here. Uh, the Calvin Brooks Memorial uh, is up next July 15th. Uh, that's uh, late models, mini stocks, stock fours, and uh, legends. Um, then we go into the 22nd. We got the Super Cups here um, with the stock fours, the legends, and the mini stocks. Um, and then we go into Night of Destruction, which we were talking about uh, pre show. Um, <clears throat> that's going to be interesting. We've got a bunch of Got a bunch of things planned for that. Got to unveil them really quickly here. Get uh, get people going. Um, you don't want to unveil some of the fun stuff on the podcast. Uh, no, you know, but I do want to. I do want to touch on one thing, man. And it, it's not that it bothers me. I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> go back to the modified race. And uh, you know, there's been a lot of their statement the Carolina crate series made story on short track scene about it um yeah you're talking about a rogue official man that whole deal and i'm not trying i'm not trying to throw them under the bus yeah even though they did us um you know with that whole statement and all but i mean the carolina the carolina crate series race control lost control of that race that's what happened i mean yes the official um you know, tried to do what, you know, he was being asked in the tower. You can listen to the flow broadcast and you can hear it, um, whether that was, you know, them, that, that was on our guys. You know, they didn't have they didn't have enough staff, so we're doing part of it. You know, so that's what happened in that deal. I could elaborate on it so much more, but that whole – the whole idea of a rogue official and, you know, it, it being on our end, it was not. I mean, it, it just simply wasn't, you know – I, I don't like how things unfolded in that deal. You know, we talked about it on the last podcast. Noah, you know, they, if it hadn't have been for the hillbilly racing, you know, jumping in there, I don't even know that anything would have happened 
beyond what happened on the track to start with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, which, you know, we're fine. I mean, they wanted to fight. That's fine. And most of our officials were trying to break things up or, you know, do whatever. Um, nobody, none of our guys were looking for a fight, you know. So, you know, the whole idea of that is just stupidity. And, and I don't, I'm just, I'm tired of hearing about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll, we'll lay it to rest. As a matter of fact, the one official that was ended up getting hit was actively trying to stop the fight right, right. and protect the guy that had been on the ground. But yeah, it's just it, it was just a whole mess, and it was. It, it's unfortunate that you know people were doing nothing but pointing fingers and throwing yeah. people under the bus. Yeah, when there's a a handful of us that know what really happened, and yep. But, unfortunately, you know, people believe what they want to believe and say what they want to. So. And, and I'll say this beyond their their statement. I didn't, I didn't care for some of the things they said in their statement that I felt like were untrue, and I just mentioned those. Beyond that, don't make any difference to me. They'll be back here July 4th. They've got both of their series, the Carolina, Carolina Crate Modified Series and the Carolina Pro Late Model Series. They'll both be here July 4th for the uh, Franklin Welding um, Freedom 262 you know, so I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to that race and looking forward to having them back here. Keith Graham, the the guy that runs the series, uh, great guy. Um, you know, so I'm not. You know, it's, there's nothing personal here. I just wanted to you know clear the air that that that's not what happened, and I understand why they need to you know say it the way they need to say it to make it take the heat off of them, and that's cool with me. I don't have any problem with it. Uh, you do what you got to do. I didn't make any statement and. Until I made this one here, uh, you know, so I, I ain't said anything. But you know, those who know what happened know that wasn't true, and and we can move on. <clears throat> so, anything else? Uh, you know, we we before I go into anything else, I will go to something else. Man, did you see? I know I, I know you guys did. Did you see the car store finish at Langley Speedway? Wow, I, I, I've seen nothing but clips. Holy crap. all all day today, and it, yeah. yeah. It, it was getting a little wild up there. Yep. It was good stuff, wasn't it, Jacob? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It uh, looked like a stock four race out there. It, it, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. It, it looked like our stock four race on yep. Saturday. <laughs> yep. And, and you know, uh, Connor Hall and, and Brendan Queen, probably two of the best race car drivers there is right now at all. And, I mean, the save that Connor Hall made, you know, way before that finish was amazing. And, you know, uh, butter being queen you know he he made his truck series start at uh over at uh north, north wilkesboro yeah yep. and he's gonna be they just announced today he's gonna be back at nashville yep. yep it's good to see guys like that uh getting opportunities and good to see a finish like that i mean it was uh pretty amazing yeah oh it's it? great on the short track world absolutely yep for sure a lot of a uh, lot of good a uh, lot of they've gotten a lot of good publicity out of that and uh you know we're 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 all race fans so we follow we follow all that, I mean, even though, you know, Noah's too tight to buy Flo, you know. Look, looking for a sponsor to buy me Flo Racing. I will shout you out every podcast. I mean, I, I've tried to explain to him how much racing he would be watching if he'd just go on and get it. Oh, there's a lot of racing on there. He's like, I ain't watching but two races a year on there. Yeah, my whole family already gets mad at me and Jordan and Timmy and everybody because I want to turn on the race on Sunday. They're going to start kicking me out of family functions. When I'm going to just start airplaying everything listen, on the TV. Listen, if the family don't like it, I'm getting me a new family, bud. I, I have a feeling. Just you know. I have a feeling to me it's going to be like a gambling addict. I'm going to start out with just watching the car stores. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to be like, there's a Bandolero race in Alaska going on right now. It's 3 a.m. Uh, I'm going to be like, let's turn that on. I was watching some IMSA race the other day. I didn't know anybody in there, but, man, the racing was great. That, and that's how I'm going to end up. I'm yeah. going to be watching it 24-7. That's I'm going to get fired from my job because I'm going to have it sitting on the dashboard driving down the road. It's the way it should be. It's good stuff, for sure. All right, before we go, anything uh, anything else on your mind? There's a lot on my mind, but you, <laughs> well, you had to most get, of the stuff on your mind I don't want <laughs> out here on the podcast. You had to get serious there for a minute. It sucked all my, my ideas I had out of my head. Yeah. Okay, so nothing. No, no. So normal every week when I say, "Hey, you got anything?" Nope, ain't got nothing. Can you next week? Let's make it a plan. Okay, next Tuesday when we have the podcast, Chris Lilly's coming on. He'll be coming down. We're going to be recording with him next week. 
can you have something at the end of the show? Save something for the end. When I say, hey, man, you got anything else? You go, oh, yeah, I got something this week. Can you have something? Uh, I'm going to ask him about his little item he's got on the back of his car. Oh, okay. But it seems to be a fan favorite. Listen, but save something for the end of the show when I ask you got anything else, okay? All right, I'll save it. I'm going <laughs> to ask something, something completely off topic and not yes. irrelevant whatsoever. I, I don't care if it's the WWE. I don't even I'll be like, man, you see the McRib is back? Hey, if the McRib was back, I'd be seeing that, okay? I'd be excited about that. I, I ain't eating any carbs, but I would take the bread off, throw it in the trash, and I'd eat plenty of those. Hey, it's dinner time right now, anyway. I'm, I know. I'm waiting on my wife to get here so that I can go get me something to eat now. So, um, <clears throat> You got anything else uh, you're thinking about there, Jacob, or anything you remember from the weekend, or anything else that happened in racing? I, I tell you... The, this playoffs is going to be amazing. So yep. sit back and relax and get your money's worth. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so hopefully we can sell a few tickets off of that. Playoffs later yep. on. They start in August and finish up September 21st with the Hex Haunted Attraction Championship Night here at the Fast Franklin County Speedway. And, you know, speaking of fast, um, Orange County Speedway, they say they're the fastest three-eighths mile in America. I wish they'd quit saying those lies. Okay. Because this is the fastest three eighths mile paved oval in the world, and they're about Cars Tour proves it. They're about a second difference in in qualifying speeds from this track to that track. So I, they need to quit that. I just see it as kind of like everywhere it says they have world famous hot dogs. Everybody yeah. says it. Well, we don't have world famous hot dogs, but we are the Yet. world's fastest Yet. three eighths mile paved. We're oval. working on the hot dog situation. Oh, is that what we're doing? Martinsville ain't gonna have nothing on us here soon. Hey, Martinsville's close by. We could just go down and we're, get it and come right back. We're going to have Franklin County hot dogs. I'm, I'm starting a marketing campaign. We're going to call them the Frizzy Glizzies. <laughs> <laughs> and they are going to be delicious and succulent, and they're going to be great wieners. Are they going <laughs> to? <laughs> Jesus, man. Are they going to have the same ingredients as the Martinsville hot dog? Or better. Look, we don't even talk about Martinsville hot dogs, all right? Okay. Don't ask what the ingredients are because, frankly, we're buying them from China and we don't know. You know, you know might be of, bats, coronavirus, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I mean, another batch of COVID wouldn't be that bad for us here. So it wasn't bad last time. You should probably preface that. <laughs> I know. I, people know what I mean. I hope. I think. Hey, we got Do through they? It. We got through it. I don't know. Some person, the first time they listen to this is going to be this episode. They're going to be like, they are terrible people yeah. over there. No, nah, I, 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 hopefully they know I'm kidding, but, you know, yes, I, whatever. I ain't even getting that deep into that. Um, frizzy glizzies, that's the point. Frizzy glizzies. Jesus. What, can we charge more since we got a fancy name? Yeah. <laughs> so I can make a no, dollar. <laughs> the name's worth at least a dollar. Yeah, okay. Well, good. At least I'll make one dollar off them. Dollar twenty-five um, on Friday night shows. Speaking of concessions, though. Tell you something that I always thought would be a good idea, and you know, I, I with race twenty two, you know, I traveled around every dang where um, in the early days, dirt and asphalt, and I always thought that a racetrack, especially like here, I think something we should do. I don't know that you know the other people that you know this comes off of would like this, but I think our concession um offerings our, our our menu should be the martinsville hot dog so we do it exactly like martinsville okay and then we have the sobo bologna burger so we have south boston's bologna burger and we do it exactly the way they do it and that's just what we call it we call it the martinsville hot dog and i know it's trademarked and we don't give a crap about that and they can sue us and whatever i don't know um south boston bologna burger um and then you know like uh the langley redneck fries so langley speedway has these redneck fries that are amazing um, I've copied them before. I didn't call them the Langley, you know, Speedway um, redneck fries, but you can you know. just call them Langley's redneck fries and well, you get out of. Yeah, yeah. It's you. It, it's your sure, fries. Sure. I mean, that is true. You're not wrong. Um, you know, but like, pick up items like that from different racetracks. I'm trying to remember some of the other items from some of the other tracks. Oh, the, the Hickory, you know, snow cones. They're, they're known for their snow cones, especially in the infield. Um, you know, different things. I think uh, Millbridge walking tacos, you know. There's, so there's just different. I, I think that should be like the concession stand offerings. And they should be exact. So what's going to be our unique thing? we got to come up with our own. We're unique because we're selling everybody else's unique, okay? Ooh. We should do like chili or something. Yeah. And if you find a tooth in it, you get a free <laughs> ticket. <laughs> That's an inside joke. 
<laughs> Only one person knows what I'm talking about. Holy smoke. I won't say what business that's related to because I'm like, hey, yeah, but it's an inside joke. Mm. Wow. Get a free I, ticket, though. Our brains went from <laughs> racing to food. I don't know. Uh, listen, <laughs> food's a great conversation anytime, it is. man. It well, is. Um, but, you know, every track's got some sort of item. And I don't, we don't have anything, which is crazy. And, you know, back in the day, I guess, I guess the one thing they had here, you know, back in the day was the Obama burger, okay? <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember that or not. But, but Whitey, when he was running the track, he had the Obama burger. And this was when Obama first got elected or whatever. And it was, you know, obviously it's full of bologna. You know, and they, they used the, th- instead of using thick bologna, they used the thin slices, you know, because it's supposed to be a poor item, you know, because it's Obama burger. Um, <laughs> you know, had a piece of cheese and, and two slices of, uh, uh, bologna or whatever. I don't know if they put any. You know, they, I think they put lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise or whatever on it. You know, I wouldn't eat that. But you know, sounds good, I guess. We, we got to come up with something. Yeah, got to have something I can yell. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard. I'm a world famous glizzy salesman. Well, I haven't seen any. And can you work the concession at the next race instead of? No. Why would I do that? I need to, to sell some hot dogs. Oh, yeah, I could be on the track now. Listen, too. see, exactly. Yeah. Got you, got well, it covered. See, you're trying on. to give yeah. my job away. <laughs> got it covered. We're moving on. Okay. I still need a microphone. Well, you're That's in, where Timmy I messed bring, up. I can bring it to you. Timmy at the haunted house gave me the, a microphone and a speaker. That was mistake yeah. number one. Well, listen, I'll get you a speaker. That is not a problem. Okay. Not I got. Problem. I called a couple of birds. I made one person quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was on the way out already, but yeah. I mean, I but I did sell a ton of hot dogs. Yeah. Well, I need to sell some hot dogs, so well, maybe, hey, let's, let's maybe just, we put you in a different Frizzy Glizzies, come and get them. Let's just consider this as a promotion for you. Yeah. Yeah, this is a promotion. <laughs> yes, this is not a demotion. Frizzy okay. Glizzies. Yeah. <laughs> You're moving up to... Come get them. From lead entertainer to lead glizzy salesman. No refunds and no, uh, what's it called? What do they do at rich people restaurants? No special requests. No yeah. alterations. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with mustard, chili, and onion. Frizzy glizzies. Jesus. The name, I love it. I yeah. love it. I mean, Jacob's already ready to buy two. Or should right we do now? Franklin okay. County frizzy kizzy glizzies? No, that's too much. That's, that's it, too yeah, much. That, frizzy glizzies. You're getting carried away now. You're getting We're doing away. frizzy glizzies. Went way overboard. <laughs> All right, we're going to end this conversation. We're going to get out of here. This has been the Pit Chatter Podcast. We appreciate you guys listening. Jacob, appreciate you coming by and hanging out with us this evening. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. I mean, even though you had to deal with Noah's craziness, I, we appreciate you being here. Eh, I could deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Noah, we're out. Frizzy glizzies. <laughs>